In this video, you'll learn how to create a data entry form in Excel. This form will allow you to add values, check boxes, drop down menus, and even pop ups based on your answers. When you click Submit, all results will be collected in a new sheet. The process involves crucial steps formatting the Excel sheet to look like a form, creating a new sheet for results, automating the process, and protecting the submission form from unauthorized changes. First, we'll format the Excel sheet to resemble a form. Assume this form this is a query form for clients wanting to query the building company. Let's call it Sublime Constructions. I will add basic information like name, address, and contact details. Now, I will format the boxes and speed up this process. For the preferred contact of method option, we'll create checkboxes for phone and email. If you can't find the Developer tab, right-click any tab, select Customize the ribbon, and enable the Developer tab. let's add a drop-down box for other boxes like title. Go to Data, select Data Validation, and select List. In the Formula box, add the followings. Nice. When you select the drop box, you now see the list of titles. Okay. Let's move to phone number. You want to set up the right number format in your for the numbers in your country area. Now let's test, and looks great. Next, we will need to add a list for the state. Since this is in Australian states, we will need to select a list for the drop-down box. Please enter the followings. Nicely done. Almost there. Do the same for the last one with the yes no list. Now we want to add an if function whether the client had built with before. If yes, they are eligible for the 5% discount. Please enter the following steps.
Maybe let's add a trendy blue color, smaller font, and make it italic. Beautifully done. Now I'm going to format to make it more presentable by realigning the texts and add border. I'm going to speed up a little bit, bear with me. Now I'm going to make the background light gray by using Command plus Shift and arrow down key. Remove the grid line. The next move is to copy the header titles from above. What we want to do is first we're going to list out all of the different entries that we have available. So the first one is the title, first name, surname, and so forth. So let me fast forward that so you can see. Now next to the header title, I will be using the equal sign to link up with the drop-down lists and boxes. We will ignore the option buttons and revisit later. Again, I will fast forward the process. Now, what we wanna do is select on any of these checkboxes. Right-click and go to format control here. When checked, we wanna link a specific cell, which is gonna be the one right next to the answer itself. So over here to the side. Now I'm gonna click on, okay. You'll notice that we get a one there. And when it's phone and I click on that, it switches to a two. Next up, use an IF statement to display phone or email based on the checkbox selection. Make sure to cross-check if the details are matched to the form above. Name the form sheet form and create another sheet named data for the result. Now copy the highlighted cells and bring over to the data worksheet. Use special paste, Tick value and tick transpose for the cells to be pasted horizontal instead of vertical. We're going to add the third worksheet and name it raw. We will be using it shortly. Now go back to form. As you see, I have already populated the client details. This time we will use macro to record, go to the developer tab, select macro and name it automate. Great. Now macro is recording. Go to the bottom of the form, highlight the second column, then copy. To the raw tab, in A1, use paste special, tick value, and transpose, then OK. Again, copy, then go to data tab, select cell B3. Go to home tab, click insert copied cells, shift cells down, and OK. This time, go back to form and remove all the current data entries.
Next, go to the Developer tab and click Stop Macro Recording. Select a button. It was saved as Automate from Macro. Hit OK. Rename to Submit. Cool, now time to play with the form. Let's populate a new set of data entry for the new client. Submit. In the Data tab, you'll see that we have a whole entry as well. So we have Rose here and James, which we added earlier. Protect the sheet is critically important to prevent errors. We will select the whole worksheet. Hit Command-1. Go to Protection tab and Lock. As highlighted, do the same but opposite and untick Locked. Now let's test it. Great. To file save as the shortcut is just going to F12. I'm going to change this from an Excel workbook to an Excel macro enabled workbook. If you want to learn how to automate using Excel, hit the like and that subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.